everyone before moving to the story or reading the story in details let's go to the title first and the title is written over here so i'm gonna give you some time to read the title of the story and remember every time you choose a story to read you need to look at the cover page and the title too so here's the title so Let's read it together. A special sunset. Let's read it one more time. A special sunset. Well done. So I want you to look at the word sunset. It's a compound word. As you can see, two words are put together. The first one is sun. Sun means a big star in the sky you can see it during the day and set means to put or lay down and sit the opposite of sit is stand so when i say sunset what does this word mean when the sun falls down and disappears Excellent. And what comes after the day? Night. Night. Night time. So let's go to the story. So first of all, we will look at the pictures. We have two pictures. So let's describe the pictures or describe what can you see. So tell me what can you see. I can see two men and one girl holding a luggage, so I think they're gonna travel. Well done, so let's read to check. A neighbor took Maria and her dad to the airport. Maria was delighted. She and dad were going to fly on a plane. Her adventure was about to begin. Well done, so as you can see, Maria and her dad. So we have here two characters and remember the characters are the people or animals who act the story out and they take part in the actions of the story. So our main characters in the story here Maria and her dad. So they are about to fly on a plane. And I think Maria is so excited to fly. Let's continue the story. So look at the two pictures here and tell me what can you see in the first one. I can see Maria and her dad looking at the airplane through the window. And what about the second one? I see Maria, dad and her dad pointing at the airplane. So Maria is sad. Hmm. So let's read and see why Maria is sad. She had dreamed of flying and now it is now it was coming true. Maria could not wait to get on the plane. Our plane is late, Maria grumbled. Then Dad pointed at last. It had arrived. So, can you tell me why Maria is sad? Because the plane was late. Well done. So, let's continue to read the story. Look at the pictures first and tell me what can you see in the first one. I can see Maria and her dad already in the airplane and sitting down. And what about the other one? Maria looking at the beautiful landscape. Landscapes. Landscapes. Remember this word because we're going to talk about the word later. Okay, everyone. So let's read what's written over here. Maria sat next to the window and she looked out at the airport. Soon the plane took off. The plane climbed high in the sky. Maria kept looking out the window. She enjoyed watching the land fall away. So if you look at their faces, you can see that they are happy. They are 
happy and also Maria is so excited. Let's continue. Okay, so there are two pictures over here and I remember something that we've learned yesterday in science about landscapes. So if you look here, you can see the beautiful landscapes. You can see the lakes and the green areas. So everyone, can you describe what can you see? I said some of it. I, I said, um, you know, uh, you can see uh, beautiful landscapes. So let's go ahead and read because I am the one who described the two pictures. It was my turn actually. So let's read now. Let's read them over here. The sun was setting. Its light made things glow. They flew over trees. They flew over houses. They flew over lakes. Well done. So, lakes, trees, these are landscapes. Well done. So, let's continue. So, here, what does Maria see from the window? There's a question here. As we, as I said earlier, she, um, she can see beautiful land escapes okay so what's happening here can you tell me what's happening i can see maria looking at the beautiful landscape while her dad is sleeping and what about the other one i can see that maria is trying to wake her dad up okay so let's read then maria noticed something strange the sunset did not move they did not pass by the sun. Dad, Maria said, the sunset is following us. How does it do that? So she's talking about the sun set. She's talking about the sun set. Let's continue. Because she's, she's saying that or she noticed something strange. The sunset did not move. So she now talking to her dad and asking us and asking him about this. Why does the sun or why the sunset did not move? So let's continue and see the answer of her dad. So let's read. Let's read directly now. The sun is very far away, Dad said. Things on the ground are much closer to us. That's why they seem to move quickly past the window. The sun is far away. It moves slowly in the window. The sun had set. Now it was nighttime. Maria looked out at the sky. So what does her dad say to her? He said that the sun is far away and that's why in the ground is much closer to us and that's why they seem to move very fast past the window. Yeah, because usually the airplane is so or super fast. So let's continue. Clouds glowed in the moonlight. She knew the moon was away, so it would follow them too. Excellent. So it's night time and Maria is enjoying her 